So you've got a system at equilibrium in a, in a closed system, right? So, okay, system at equilibrium, it's closed up and, and everything's happening. Uh, rate of forward equals rate of reverse reaction. And then you add some more of one of the chemicals or you take away some of that chemical. Um, or you change the temperature of the reaction, or you change the pressure by, by changing the size of the container. What's going to happen? Well, the reaction is going to shift to counteract the disturbance. Or, as Le Chatelier said, to counteract the disturbance, we will have a shift in equilibrium. Okay, well, he didn't really say it that way. Uh, so, Le Chatelier, maybe his first name was Le. I've actually said that joke before, and it's been on YouTube, and then, of course, it's not really even a joke, is it? It's just like playing around. I know his name is Henri-Louis Le Chatelier, but, you know, I just kind of say Le, and then people write back and they say, his first name isn't Le, it's Henri. And I'm thinking, okay, that's fine, and you do not have a sense of humeur. Humeur. Now, so here's the deal. I have a reaction. You know what we're going to use for this entire sequence of, of explanations? We're just going to keep using the Haber process right here. That reaction right there to make ammonia from its elements. And here's what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, we have this reaction occurring in a closed system. It's at equilibrium. And this is what we're going to do. We are going to change the concentration of something. Let's say we add N2. We're going to add nitrogen to that reaction in a closed system. So what's happening? We stuff in some more nitrogen. What's going to happen? Okay. Well, you know, if you think about it, this is where what's, what's happening and what gets, gets affected. Here is the expression for that reaction. If you add more N2, what's going to happen? Well, think about it. You're adding this, and so now the denominator is getting bigger, which means then that this number is going to do what? That K value. It's going to stay the same because it's a K value, right? But what does really happen is, is what's going to happen is you add more of this, you're going to get a Q value here, right? Because you've changed the condition. It's no longer at equilibrium. So what are you going to do? You're going to get a number here. Now think about it. You're going to be making a Q value here. So this is going to be really a Q when you add more of this. And... The Q value is going to be, because that's in the denominator and that makes this value smaller, that Q value is going to be less than K. So when Q is less than K, you're going to have to shift to make more products here, to make this number bigger to get it back to what the original K was. That makes sense. So here's the deal. We're going to go right back to calling that K. So what do we do here? We need... To if you add this, the reaction is going to shift this way. Hey, just think about it in terms of logic, right? If you're going to add to this side right here, this side gets jealous and wants more. So the reaction shifts to the right to make more of that chemical. That's it. Okay. So that was the mathematical explanation. Here's just the one that you just use your logic and just answer this. So if somebody says add N2, which way does the reaction shift? It shifts to the right to make more of this. That means then that this concentration is going to go down immediately upon adding it. And this one's going to drop as well because the reaction shifted this way. You're losing here, losing here, gaining here, right? Another question could be, well, if you add H2, what's going to happen? Well, if you add H2, the reaction's going to shift to the right because you need to make more of this. You're adding H2, you're going to have to get this up to be a bigger number. So that's going to, when you add it, that's going to drop in quantity. That does too in order to make this. The reaction shifts to the right. What happens if? you actually remove NH3. And here's a real cool thing about equilibrium. Once we form a product, if we remove it, then we can make more of it because if we take this away, this side has less, so the reaction shifts to the right to make more of it. So then if I say, what's all the ways possible in this question to be able to increase the amount of ammonia that you make so you can spread it out as fertilizer, right? So what you can do is, you could add H2, the reaction will shift to the right. You could add N2, and the reaction would shift to the right. You could take out NH3. Now, I know that sounds counterintuitive because you're decreasing something to increase it, but think, listen, listen to the context. The context is, I want to make more of it so I can spread it out. If I make some at equilibrium, I'll have a certain quantity here. If I take it away, now I have it over here. Will the reaction shift 
to make more of it? Yes. And will that then give me more of this to be able to spread out and make? Fertilizer. Yes. And so the deal is that you can actually take something out and make more of it, if that makes any kind of sense. So that's concentration change with Le Chatelier's principle.